What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake and in today's video, we've got some overclock settings for you for Novo. But before we get into the content, if you would do me a favor, hit that like and if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so by the end of the video. So I'm sure most of you guys have noticed by now that Novo is listed as one of the most profitable coins to mine on hashrate.no now. Now, you may not have known this, but Novo has been around for quite a while, actually. In fact, I created a flight sheet for this back in, I think, September of 2022. But it's recently got some attention, of course, because now that it's on hashrate.no, we can see that it is one of the more profitable coins to mine. Now, Serpent X Tech has already put a video out about Novo. Uh, for you guys, it's probably going to be about 48 hours ago. But he covers a lot of things that I would cover in a deep dive video on this. So if you haven't watched his video, I'm going to leave a link for it down in the description below. I'm still currently putting all of my findings together and I am going to present a deep dive once I've had an opportunity to talk to somebody who's been involved with the project for a considerable amount of time. But for now, let's talk about overclocks. Hashrate.no always does an excellent job of getting you really close to the most efficient settings that you can have. But, you know, perhaps you're trying to garner as much of the coin as possible. Perhaps your GPU, your silicon lottery is a little bit different and it's not quite working out for you. So I want to cover a spreadsheet that I created that has a bunch of different overclock settings and we'll compare that to Hashrate.no. And... Let's take a look at HiveOS for just a moment here. So I haven't updated to the latest version of Hive, um, but you can, and I plan on doing that after this video is over, but for the sake of time, I just wanted to get it over and done with. You'll notice that I am actually on BZ Miner version 15.0.0. I installed the beta about four days ago, and I've been doing some testing, and let's go over the results of the testing, shall we? So we've got a 3060 Ti, 3070, 3070 Ti, 3080, 3080 Ti, 3090, and a 4070. Now, pretty much the only thing that I'm missing out of the 3000 series is going to be the 3060 and the 3050. And I'm not quite sure that I'm going to purchase one of those. I'll probably just start acquiring 40 series GPUs for you guys. But as far as overclocks are concerned, on the 40 series card, we've got a core offset of 340, a locked core of 2000, and locked memory at 810. On the 3000 series, we've got a core offset of 320, locked core at 1200, and locked memory at 810. Now we've got our hash rate, our power, and our efficiency. We've also got revenue and profit listed at seven cents per kilowatt hour, as well as 13 cents per kilowatt hour. And then over here, we've got a little bit different settings. So on the 4000 series, we've got 340 on the core offset, 2200 on the locked core, and of course our memory stays the same. On the 3000 series, we've got it at 320, locked core at 1300, locked mem at 810. And you can see, because this one is highlighted in bright green, of course, that this was actually, other than the 4070, the most efficient GPU out of all of the 30 series, which I find actually kind of surprising. Now we did get pretty close on a couple of the other GPUs and overall, it seems like a locked core somewhere around 1400 to 1500 and a core offset between 300 to 320, depending on if your GPU can be stable, uh, is probably going to be a bit more efficient. Now the 4070 is actually the most efficient at Locked core of 2500, core offset of 340, and a locked memory at 810. And as you can see, we've got an efficiency of 34.19 mega hash per watt. Now, when it comes to profitability, of course, you know, where you come in at per kilowatt hour is really going to determine which of these overclock settings you want to shoot for. So, for example, um, if we locked core at 1700 and core offset at 300, then we're getting the most profit at seven cents per kilowatt hour, as opposed to trying to get a little bit more efficient here. Our profit is just a little bit under, as you can see. 
But if you're paying more than seven cents per kilowatt hour, for example, 13 cents per kilowatt hour, your best bet is probably going to stick with somewhere between 1400 on your locked core and 1500. But yeah, I, I think that this particular coin may have a little bit of room to run because it's not currently listed on coin market cap. And for that reason, I think once that it does get listed, a few of us out there that are mining it do expect that the price will get a little better. But hey, not financial advice. Nothing's guaranteed. Do your own research, of course. But when it comes to overclock settings, I think hashrate.no did a pretty good job at getting really close. But, you know, if you're looking for something just a little bit different, hopefully these numbers help you dial that in just a little bit better. Anyways, that is it for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. Do me a favor before you go, hit that like, and stay tuned for another follow-up video where I do the deep dive on the coin. That being said, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you on the next one.